Hi guys, it's Master Coach Sony Morgan. In today's video, we're going to be talking about learning by visualization. So I've got my son with me, Miles, in the classroom, and we're going to go through a Honeywell Y plan and S plan system. So what he's going to be doing is basically, you're going to see me teaching him real quick how to go through the circuitry, how to go through the flow, how everything works, and then he's going to memorize that, and then he's going to do some drawings He's going to do the S plan drawing and the Y plan drawing. And you're going to see for yourself how he's going to learn real fast and demonstrate all this to you. So I'm just going to right, Miles, what we're now going to look at is this twin channel programmer. Now, what I want you to do is visualize what connections are behind this using our visualization technique, what I've shown you. Can okay, you so, so behind there, you've got five wires. You've got your live neutral and earth. And then on terminal three, you've got your hot water output. And on terminal four, you've got your central heating output. Okay, excellent. Now, what we're going to say, um, we're going to switch over to a single channel programmer. Again, what would be the connection behind this if it was a single channel programmer? So on your single channel, you've still got your live neutral on earth, but you don't have your hot water output. You've only got a central heating output. Okay, Miles, now we're going to look at something else. We're going to look at the heating. And what I want you to do now is tell us that from four, where does it go around basically this S plan system? What happens? So just explain that for me, please. Okay, so from the central heating terminal four, we go over to the room thermostat terminal one, which makes a switch to terminal three, which then comes down to your brown wire here which activates the motor inside the zone valve. Then a micro switch is made, which goes to the orange wire, starting the pump and boiler. Okay, excellent. Now what I want you to do is do that sequence backward, backwards, please. Right, okay. Um, so you pump and boiler, the orange wire to the micro switch, then the synchron motor, to your brown wire, back to terminal 3, back to terminal 1, back to terminal 4 in your programmer. Alright, excellent. So, in no time at all, Miles has memorised this little system. This is his framework, how he's going to fault find, which I'm going to show you now. Right, so we're going to use a scenario, we're putting a programmer on and we're not getting no heating, no pump and bars coming on after putting a programmer on. So, we look here, we know that this is a brown 2VM zone valve, so there's no power here. So, what do you think that would be? What would you do? So, we know that this comes from the room thermostat, so we would link out terminal 1 and connect it to terminal 3. And if we did get power, that would mean that your room thermostat has gone. Alright, excellent. Well done. What would happen if, like you said, you link these two together, three and one, and the pump and boiler didn't come on after doing that, what would happen? What would you do? What would you, what, so what would you be thinking? If you've used the test of linking them out, then and there's still no power, then you'll be looking at your programmer that, failing. That's it. Excellent. Well done. Okay, another scenario. We have got power here, so that means your programmer and your room firm start working because we've got power here. Yet we've not got no pump and boiler, no power on the orange. So what would you be thinking then? Okay, so if you go back to that sequence, this brown comes down to the motor inside the zone valve, so perhaps the motor's failed. Okay. What else you think could happen? Um, also, the micro switch could actually fail, meaning that the pump and boiler wouldn't, wouldn't be starting. That's it. Yeah, so there's two things what could fail. We've got the motor could fail, and we've got also the micro switch, as you said, could fail. Excellent, well done. So, Miles, from terminal 3 from the programmer, what happens? Where does it flow? Right, so from terminal 3, 
it comes up to your cylinder stack this time on the common which then makes a switch over to terminal 1 coming down to the live here activating the motor in your hot water zone valve which creates a micro switch coming up onto your orange starting the pump and boiler that's it now before we look at fault finding I want you to just do that backwards so right. just reverse order right okay so your micro switch on your orange um, made by the motor turning which come from the live back up to one which switched over from the common which came from terminal 3 now we're going to look at some common faults on the hot water why we won't get no hot water or why the pump and bar won't come on in hot water mode so we put our programmer on as I said the bar doesn't fire up now looking in the pro um, wiring sensor here this is our brown so we've got no power here on the brown after testing it here so what do you think you would do next okay so we go back up to our cylinder stack and we'd link out again and if we did get power it would mean that this is gone okay good now another one so again we've got uh, no power here now you link this out so that didn't work so what would you be looking at next well you go to where this came from which is the programmer and it would mean that the programmer's gone now another fault we've got power here but the heating so the hot water has not come on so what do you think that would be so that could mean that the uh, the motor in the zone valve hasn't been activated or the switch has been made but it hasn't sent any power to start the pump and boiler that's it excellent well done you can see and here miles going through that system on hot water and heating basically making it look quite simple really how he's learned and he's learned it using my visualization system that is remembered how everything works so the next big test is he's going to draw this out now he's going to draw out basically these components what you can see now He's going to draw all this out and basically using his pen and paper connect the wires together showing he can remember how everything works so miles fire away right okay so i'll start with the components we've got the programmer and the terminals we'll just say three and four three being hot water four being central heating and there's your room thermostat with terminals one and three and your cylinder stat with the common let's put C and number one and your wiring sensor we'll just have the two lives which are brown and the orange and the two zone valves Um, do hot water and central heating and then the pump and the boiler put it over here so we're doing central heating we go from terminal 4 to terminal 1 on your room step then from 3 we go down to the live and the live goes to the zone valve but then you need the connection from the orange to the zone valve from the micro switch which starts the pump and boiler that's it excellent right now let's look at the hot water okay so you go from terminal 3 on our programmer over to our cylinder start the common then from terminal one we go to our live again the brown which comes down to the hot water zone valve which also connects 
to the orange, which then goes to the pump and boiler once again. Excellent. Well done. Okay, Miles, now you've completed that, what do you feel? How do you feel about it? Uh, I feel really good. I feel like I know it 100%. It's only taken me about an hour, an hour and a half to learn this. I, I didn't know anything going into it. But with the visualisation technique that I used, it's made it much more simpler. Obviously, it looks complicated, but it's been broken down so, so I can understand it a lot, a lot deeper. That's it, excellent. So for new engineers looking to do this game, looking to get your training done, this is what I do, this is how I teach to make things simple, complicate things simpler. So if you know anyone who wants training or you want training, you know, you know who to call, Master Coach Tony Morgan.